Welcome! In front of me I have Garmin 4Runner 235 and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the Android phone. First thing you will need to do is to turn on your watch and you can turn it on by pressing and holding the upper button, or rather the light button, basically. Once the watch turns on, you will need to download and install the Garmin Connect application on the phone you want to pair your watch with. I already have it downloaded right here, but you can basically open the Play Store, type in uh, Garmin Connect and tap on install to install it. And once you install the application, you can open it and after you open it, you will see the login page. We need to basically log in into a Garmin Connect account. But before that, we need to enter the pairing mode on our watch. To do it, press the start button right here. Then press the down button to open the menu, like that. Now scroll through the menu by pressing the down button. Find the settings option and once you find it and select it, press the start button. Here, scroll through the menu, find the Bluetooth option, and once you find it, press the Start button, then select Pair Mobile Device, press Start, and as you can see, it says Ready to Pair, so we entered the pairing mode. Now, let's log in into a Garmin account. If you don't have an account, of course, you can create a new one and by tapping on Create Account instead of Sign In. I'm gonna enter the email address and password. And then tap on next to log in. After you log in and you see the pop up about the uh, access, tap on allow access, tap on allow. And the app should start looking for the nearby devices and it should detect it, our watch as you can see. Once it detects it, tap on connect it, tap on allow. Enter the pen from your watch, so this one, 537587, uh, tap on OK. Now we can tap on Next. Here you can edit your goals, something like steps, a water intake and stuff like that. You can also tap on keep default goals to keep them default. I'm gonna tap on edit goals just for the sake of the video. And here you can change the steps, goals, and the fluid consumption, like I said, and the intensity minutes per week. Then you can tap on next. We can allow the notification access. This is useful if you want to receive the notifications from your phone on your watch. If you don't care, you can tap on skip. If you want to allow it, tap on allow notification access and tap on allow. Next we have the location permission. This is useful if you want to see the weather uh, in your current location, you want to track the, for example, runs on the map, cycling on the map and stuff like that. If you want to use this feature, tap on allow. If you don't care, tap on skip. And if you tap on allow, you will need to go to permissions, uh, location, and tap on allow, and then go back to the uh, app. Like this. Uh, next we have the calendar access. This is useful if you want to see the events from your calendar and manage them. If you want to, allow the calendar access. If you don't care, tap on skip. Then we have the call log access. This is useful if you want to see uh, notifications about calls and who's calling you. Uh, if you don't care, you can tap on skip. If you want to allow it, tap on allow call log access. Same for the phone calls, messages, and once you're done with the permissions, you can tap on Sync Now. Okay, here we can tap on cl Close, then Finish. And at this point, you should see the home page of the application. Now you can tap on More, Garmin Devices. And you should see your Garmin for, the, for a runner 235 on the list. As you can see, and it's really connected and you can tap on it to open the device page. And here we have some things like a device setting and stuff like that, which basically means that the devices are paired together. And that's how you pair this watch with the Android phone. Thank you for watching. 
If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.